This video will show you how to get started with StoryPix. The idea of this app is to use one photograph or picture and move around this image to tell a story. To log in, you will need to use your Sparkle login details. Click on the login button. Click on the blue add button to start a new story. Then click choose from photo library to use an image from your computer. A file browser window will open for you to select your image. JPEG and PNG images are compatible. Now your picture has loaded, you can start to capture scenes using the blue plus button in the bottom right of the screen. Each scene is separate and when selected you can reposition the view for that scene. Use the rotate handle on the right to rotate. Use the plus and minus icons to zoom in and out. And use your mouse or trackpad to pan by left clicking and dragging on the image. You can double click on the center of a rotate handle to reset the rotation. If you don't like your scene, just click the edit icon in the bottom right and a trash icon will appear on each scene. You can click the red trash can icon on a scene to delete it. Click the trash icon again to confirm. When you have finished, click the cross in the bottom right or finished editing in the middle of the screen to return. In this story, I would like the second scene to focus on the hands of the Mona Lisa. So I will click on that scene and then use the same techniques as before to zoom in and center the hands. So now I have my scenes in place I'm going to record a voiceover to help make my story. To do this, click on the scene you want to use, then click on the microphone button. When you're ready to record yourself, click on the red dot. You can then click stop or just click the forward arrow in the bottom right to carry on recording for the next scene. For example, The Mona Lisa in the world's most famous painting. Did you know a finger on the left hand was never completed? The Mona Lisa was painted by Da Vinci. Once you click on the stop button, the voiceover automatically saves to the scene. If you want to remove it or change the voiceover, just click on the bin icon for that scene. You can see which scenes have audio on them with a the microphone icon on the scene thumbnail in the timeline. You can also add closed captions to each scene. Select the scene and click the CC button. Click in the notes area that appears over your image and a cursor will be visible. I'm going to add words to match my voiceover. Once you've finished, Click the tick icon on the top left and the notes will be added or move to another scene to do the same. You can see which scenes have closed captions on them with the CC icon on the scene thumbnail in the timeline. Now, let's preview our work. This is done by using the play icon in the top right. A preview will load and you can hit play to watch that through. Your audio will play and you will see your closed captions in this mode. Click the X in the top left to go back to your project. Presentation mode is available through the presentation icon in the top right. In this mode, you can manually move between scenes using the forward and back arrows on screen. No audio will play in this mode as it's designed for live presentation where you would be speaking. However, you can choose if a closed captions display with a CC button in the bottom left. Again, click the X in the top left to go back to your story. There are a number of settings available for your story through the cog icon in the top right. You can rename your story here, change the background color, and control the time between scenes by slowing down or speeding up the scene transition speed. Click the tick in the top left to go back to your story. 
Once you're happy with your work, you can share it as a video. Click the share button on the top right toolbar. Choose for your story to be listed as public, unlisted or private before you click start video rendering to publish. Once uploaded, you will have a short URL for your video, which you can copy and create an embed code if you need it. Clicking view my video will take you directly to the video page. Remember that your video will take a short time to be published, so will not be available instantly. You will get an email confirmation as soon as it's ready to view. To sync your work to your account, so you can access it on different devices, click the cloud button in the top left toolbar. Your project is now saved and you can click back to see that on the first screen we saw earlier. You can now start another story or click on the save story to open it again. And that's how you make a story in StoryPix.